Right, let's both of them use Tomahawk Grams on all of them. Let's go into it. K9 S Bruce versus Master Mario. Looking at the winner side of bracket, loser this is going to be loser, se loser semis, of course. The winner of this will go ahead and fight Lo Sweet Tea in Loser's Finals. Yep. Of course, K9S Bruce beat Nitro with a 20 and a handshake. Nitro beat Jintek with a 2-1. Master Mario beat, uh, beating out YMC with a 20 and a handshake. And Master Mario taking it over Syro with a 20 and a handshake. Man. Yeah, there was a lot of upsets, I'd say, in this bracket. Yeah. And uh, a lot of it due to Rex, but uh, they're fighting it out. K9 and Master Mario right now, mm -hmm. Loser Semis. They're the ones that came out on top. They're the ones that are keeping the consistency up. Speaking of consistency, man, you're, uh, you're running this race a mile a minute, and you're chugging on through, man. I'm proud of you. <laughs> on my own. I've been on like three hours and 30 minutes. Yeah, man, I'm, so. I'm starting to feel tired now, so I'm timing myself. It's like, okay, <laughs> three hours and 30 minutes, that's my time. That's when I got to get a Red Bull, chug it down, but yeah. I don't have one with me at the moment. <laughs> but we'll go and see. Of course, I'm on here all day because I'm practicing my stamina, trying to keep it up, or if I get potentially another top eight spot, we'll ever see. Yeah. And of course, man, I'm here to help you out. This is a duo. It's a co-commentary. So let's go ahead and get right into it. It takes two to dance, and we'll see what K9 and Master Mario can bring onto the table here. A 60% onto um, K9 as Bruce. I'm sorry, Master. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just Master Mario in general. It's just so easy for him to start off with these combos, especially against a heavy or not a heavyweight. It's kind of a medium fast faller character like Wolf. Mm -hmm. So he's able to get these like falling uppers and put them into the place where he wants them. Master Mario is pretty comfortable against K9. K9 looking to get back on the stage. One thing I like that he's doing with that Nair there, he's using, he's going for it and he retreats back, making sure he doesn't get punished this hard. It's a ledge option. Oh, trying to go for up smash. Probably going to get an anti air or something, but K9 very smart. Just jumps away. Okay, we'll return back to neutral. I'm not trying to get reversal here. Exactly. Not only that, he respects the fact that Master Mario is trying to see his coming in with Nair, right? Landing with Nair. He wants to punish that, so K9 not going to give him the opportunity here. Goes for the back throw, and I like the fact that he sets up that back air as well. Seeing that recovery against Master Mario. All right, and the music in the background. We got that Pokemon evolution happening. Let's see if someone evolved into a three stock lead. Here. K9 trying to be prematurely here with that forward smash. Oh, K9 just with his movement. He's so good at slipping out of people's clutches, but the down air confirmed into the up smash. Such great stuff from Master Mario to take out the first stock here. And that's a mess. That's a thing that Master Mario likes to do. He likes to go in for the fireball approach there. And I feel that Kanai needs to understand that, right? He's able to tie it up in terms of stock, but Master Mario struck first blood. So the pace is still kind of going a little bit even here. Master Mario with the up throw to down air, kind of the classic Mario combo now in Ultimate. Yet again, coming in with that fireball. This time, Kanai holds true here. Does not want to go ahead and make any mistakes? It's very similar to Pichu Thunderdome, how you can use that projectile to cover yourself while you're trying to go and approach just like that. But K9 is doing a good job of playing around it as well. He knows how to play against projectiles, but the up is still not going to be able to do it though. Sparks of Doom will not cover this this wolf out of play at least. K9 still surviving. Trying to find the Nair into the down smash. Didn't quite get the strong hitbox to send him into tumble, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so far K9 retreats himself to the ledge with the roll. Pretty, pretty defensive option, and immediately Master Mario meeting him at the ledge. I like the situation because he sees that there's 102% on K9. It could have been blood. So those fireballs yet again. On the back air. Oh, almost gets it. I felt like Master Mario was looking for a tech tease, but he actually spot dodged. Yeah, either that or he thought that he would have shielded and then spot dodged mm -hmm. to, get, to get away from the reversal situation. But that was just a back guess overall, I think. K9 yeah. slowly catching up here against Master Mario. Master Mario using still those fireballs, and that's the thing that K9 still gets hit, getting hit by, right? Fireball to cover the option with an air. Okay, <laughs> the saw of the tempo has changed. We'll see what it can go. K9 gets that forward tilt edge guard phase into K9's hands. I feel like he tried to run off with like a run off Nair or something, but he actually grabbed the stage instead. That was unfortunate. So he was forced to come back on and gave Master Mario enough time to get back on. Why well, get K9 not trying to spam the forward tilt on the ledge? How does he get back in? He does not. Th that was the dangerous position. Usually, when K9, whenever he throws out lasers, is in a pressure situation when he knows that he's catching them on landing or he knows that he's catching his opponent trying to chase him. That time around, Master Mario was already in his space, jumped around and able to get that back there. Yeah, and Blaster is not that fast. Being frame 15, it's kind of slow. You kind of commit to that option. The only thing that protects is the bayonet. But that situation, Master, Master Mario's back air was able to take care of that one. Yep. They got another grab, getting that up throw. Putting him potentially with these up airs on the combo, off the top, still not enough to do it. But he's got him at 95%, and he tried to go for another extension, but the Nair just stuffs him out of the air. All right, K9 trying to play a little bit defensive, gets that forward air into the grab, into the dash, that kind of the classic bouncing fish here for, for the Star Wolf character. Oh, 
the Nair trips him, actually. Gets a tech chase into the dash attack. One big opportunity. Tries to elicit a risk action out of him. Does not get it, though. Down throw. Put him on stage one more time. Second chance here for a potential kill. Kind of a little bit more common cookie that we're seeing from K9 versus Rex, right? Rex, he was spamming me those down smashes when he saw the double blood in the water. K9 trying to play calm here. I like the fact that he sees the option that Master Mario is trying to go for those out smashes and goes around the stage. Great play here. One more time. Doesn't get his jump clipped by the fireball. And again, he's doing these full double jumps. Not worried about that up smash, that reversal option that Master Mario has to try and get the ledge trap. And he gets another grab down throw one more time. Last year tries to elicit a jump out of him, but Master Mario knows where he exactly he is and gets another grab on the neutral getup. Porto looking for the spacing. I like it showing his back. Looking to see how Master Mario is going to land in that dash attack. Takes the tempo play. Was right in A9S Bruce's hands. I, know. I still can't believe he's wearing that mask though. I know. I, I, I think it's still hide his emotion, but you can just see right through him. It's like, damn, this is a hard set. One of my favorite things about K9, he's always embodying his mains. He always has. Like he, in the PM days, man, he made Meta Knight. He truly had a love for the character, right? In when he made uh, Diddy and Sheik in Smash Four, right? He had the, he had the Diddy plush, right? Now we see him rock out the wolf with the wolf mask here. Well, he stabbed the Diddy plush, remember? Oh yeah, he when, did. When he showed it to MVD, so maybe that was the end of the Diddy. Oh era. yeah, you know you're right. It's probably the end of mark, mark the end of an era for K9 and his Bruce there. Yeah, remember when he stabbed the Mario too? He needs to stab the Mario again with the bayonet or something because right now he's doing a great job. 74% already, but Master Mario getting a combo himself, 40%. We'll see if Master Mario will stab the wolf here. At least they got the demask canine here because he's doing an excellent job trying to make sure he stays with the tempo. Running there and a down smash indeed. No tech against that one, Master. That's the one of the things you have to respect against Wolf. If you don't tech, he will go for the down smash at 30% and it'll kill you. You have to be careful. Oh, and again, using that laser a little bit preemptively, and Master Mario was already aired, just jumped right over and get that back air into the grab. And now continuing the pressure situation. Oh, hot smash. Oh, yeah, good stuff so far. He's got to find the stock soon, though, because K9 can easily get another big damage combo, and they potentially do something like that, but the down smash spot touches right through at the right time. K9 using these full hot, these double jumps, right? Just trying to get away from the fireballs. He knows Master Mario is looking for an opportunity to come in and immediately punish him as he goes for a fireball. K9 changing his battle plan here. He's kind of going ahead and mark marking little check marks against Master Mario and he gets that down smash, seeing the double jump to try to get back on the ledge. Yep. Great punish option from K9 as Bruce. Up tilt to try to extend the combo to get it another forward air, but it's not quite going to work out there. K9 playing a little bit more calmly this time around. Not doing those uh, ill-elicited uh, lasers in neutral this time around. Master Mario strikes back with an up throw to the down air. I like it. Moved himself with a little bit of space. Wanted to catch K9 on the landing there, but K9 got the better of that interaction there. Laser one more time. Not going to get that pin in force match. He's trying to find the pressure, but Master Mario is so good at keeping his calm when he's off stage. So does K9. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't pull the trigger there on the side B. Of course, Wolf Flash does not auto-stop the ledge, so you have to be careful when you go for it. Nice, goes in low. Yeah. I like what he tried to do there. I think he was drifting away to make him think that he was going for Wolf Flash and then went underneath mm -hmm. to try and get something going. Kate confirms, not quite going to happen today, but they're possible. I've, I've seen it in the Mario Discord. Oh, tries to go for the back Nair. I'm sorry, oh! tries to go to Fade Away Nair, almost gets it, but... That was very scary for a second, but I forgot that K9 is still up a stock. The control in his match is so impeccable right now. That's Mario not too far behind. He's still trying to find his opening. He's been able to push himself in this right position for so long, but it's just not working. He can't seal out the stock, and this is the problem with Mario. Get the grab. Back throw still not enough to do it. And this is the problem with Mario. It's so hard for him to confirm a kill at these high percents. He's got to go for a back throw or just a raw up smash or something, and it's not happening. Yeah, Cannon with all the cards in his hands. Oh, shows the back. I like that option, but that's also bad for Master Mario. He's not going for a punish there. If Cannon is showing your back, you have an opportunity to go for an option there. But it's also Cannon's opportunity to say, if you're going to go ahead and hit me, I'm going to go ahead and go for a back air. I'm going to go for a nair. I'm showing you my back for a reason there. And Cannon shows that. Stang was calm. Look at that, man. He is just cool as a cucumber. Yeah. And then, well, you can kind of see his hand twitching. Like He's mashing A. He wants to get the match, next match underway. But Master Mario, he's the one that's looking like his mentality is kind of getting yeah. shook up. But it's been a long day, man. We started this tournament at 8, and he's been playing since then. We're about four hours on the mark here. 
<laughs> You're about four hours on. <laughs> <laughs> also, also true. <laughs> shout well, shout out to endurance, man. That's what it's all about. That's what it comes down to, right? Being healthy, drinking water, the right amount of snacks. Super crucial to also make sure you're well hydrated because when it comes down to it, you need that H2O to survive. And so far, luckily, Master Mario is drinking Jordan's secret stuff with that H2O, bringing out K9 to 78%. Yeah, but I mean, that's the story of Mario. You get him at a high percent, and then all of a sudden, you can't kill. That's what we saw <laughs> earlier in the, in, in the second game. So we'll have to see if he can close out the stock. Usually, when we see Master Mario get those kills, he gets like the up air into the air dodge, read into the fair, or something like that off stage. We're not quite seeing that happen. K9's not giving it to them. He's giving these safe recoveries, but that part of, this, of the wolf flash and the wolf up B as well. Missing that grab. Newly Master Mario puts him back off the stage. Edge guard phase into his head. He's got him in the corner there. Let's see what he can do, but. And it sneaks through with that four tilt to the back air. No jump. Good oh, option, it. though. Goes for the high option because if you went low, Kane, I would have reset the edge guard phase. Yep. He, or excuse me, Master Mario recognized that. K9 was already using up his resources, couldn't make it back, but the up smash, gonna be able to close it out against that Nair. Finally, K9 does something unsafe against Master Mario's shield, but he's got a two-game cushion, so he can afford to try and experiment and see how Master Mario is well reacting, even with this deteriorated mental state. Mm -hmm. Forward smash, K9 moving a little bit closer here, trying to close the gap. He's got him in the corner. Down smash it again, and he sees blood in the water, and he immediately goes for it. Man, that move is so safe. Like, he tried to punish it, and then just got reversaled again. Like, <laughs> Wolf, sometimes, he's, uh, you gotta be careful about those smash attacks, dude. Okay. Yet again, like I said, K9's got check marks on each of Master Mario's moves there. He sees the fireball, says, you know, fine. I'll go in the air, and I'll meet you for it. Right, trying to get an extension on the platform. He's not going to get anything. K9 evening up the percents actually after he was down behind for a really long time. And again, the combo is not quite working. I feel like Wolf is just right outside of the weight where it works to potentially kill. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, of course. Wolf actually being a little bit on the middleweight class. So he's able to survive a little bit differently against Master Mario. Uh, yeah, against Master Mario. Yeah, but we'll have to see the cape reflects the laser. Trying to find this Nair, the back throw, finally going to get another stage position advantage. Just air dodges through the flood. And K9 just trying to stay a little bit calm here, 147% Master Mar has worked for it. He's got him at the ledge, he's using these back airs. And again, the double jump and the aerial mobility. Wolf has some good good mobility to be able to get around those situations. But it's also good for Master Mar to understand, if he's going for these double jumps, I'm just like seeking them out with an up air. Yeah. Doesn't hurt to go ahead and put check marks on my opponent. Tilt. Oh, oh, oh. Forward smash, not quite gonna work, but the back throw putting him off stage. Master Mario kind of jumping in his chair, knowing that it's potentially close for Can I to get a 3 0 if he can close out the stock and get the lead. Because he's been playing behind this entire game. The skid, oh. the skid. Oh, you rarely see that happen with the new dash dance in this game, but mm -hmm. it happens occasionally, and it just kind of caught him off guard. You can kind of tell that both these players are nervous. Yeah, and K9 kind of had like a little bit of control in his hands there, but immediately when Master Mario took the stock, K9 now showing signs of respect. He's just trying to find a reaction out of shield, but nothing is happening. I wouldn't be surprised if he went for a tomahawk grab very soon, but we'll have to see. Blaster using that double jump there. And again, going for these double jumps. K9 shows respect. He doesn't want to get hit by a fireball to follow up. Edge guard face. K9's face shows the back yet again. Oh, Matt forward tilt. Second hit actually not connecting. Oh, I never knew that actually was possible, but I guess if that percent's high enough, then it's possible. But here we go. A big combo for Master Mario. No, he just air dodges out of it. I think the rage might just be enough where it's affecting him. Master Mario rolling his eyes one more time, but he's still got the lead. He's got to keep himself cool. Yeah. He wants to potentially put himself in a spot in Loser's Finals. Look at your opponent's habits here. That's where Master Mario needs to go. It's literally the last game here. On tournament life, but also that forward and even almost hitting K9 as Bruce. Oh, just dashing back and forth. Not quite able to find anything. Ay, 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 these double jumps are so scary. Either of these two looking for something safe, and they're both afraid to commit his last stock and game point for K9. And he Ooh. gets in there, but he's not able to get anything afterwards. Not enough hits done. Oh, oh. but the fair! Good job. Didn't take out, didn't take in, didn't take just had a normal DI there. That's what it looks like. Oh, and he's trying to get in, and you see Master Mario oh. trying to intercept. Oh, so brave! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, if I had all the bravery in the world, he's wearing that wolf mask for a reason. Yeah, he's the hero in the night. He's got to be brave to be able to fight all that crime, man. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. He's going to be able to get that punish in. Very smart. Oh, the wolf of oh. me! And 
the up smash, that'll be able to do it. Master Mario does not look happy about that game win, dude. He does not look happy at all. You can see that Master Mario's kind of got a little bit of a sigh of relief in that situation, man. K9, still a little bit calm. Look at him, man. He's, he's, a, he's, calm. he's, a, he's a statue. Um, he's a statue. I, I, look, dude, if I'm, if I'm walking down an alley after a tournament and I'm seeing this man, I'm turning the other direction. I'm not, I'm not getting in my car. Uh, I'm, walking, I'm walking around the building. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking around the building, man. <laughs> I'm doing something else. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, well, let's go on to game four. Master Mar with a sigh of relief there, taking, finally taking that game. I just don't know what that Wolf of B was. I yeah, think, I, I think, really I think it was just the last stop option to catch Master Mario off his guard, but he was playing so defensive that entire time. He bet on block. That, yeah, yeah. He, he, he literally rolled, He literally like played it. I'm bet on block. If you get hit by this man, that's all I got. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of one of those things that your opponent's not ready for those unorthodox options. All right, well, now that Master Mario uh, took a game here, hopefully he has some time to adapt, see what those double jumps are. Stage change will allow for different gameplay here. Oh, landing there, tries to spot dodge. It's one of those situations where you know your attack doesn't have enough uh, advantage uh, on hit. So you try to go for a defensive option to catch what the reversal would be, but it just didn't quite work there. And I'm very smart to wait. And uh, same story as that last stock <laughs> earlier, is that they're being very safe with their double jumps, don't want to commit too hard. They're just waiting for the other person to crack and then finally try to go in for something. But K9 oh. gets that back air. Yeah, and he double jumped there, and unfortunately, Master Mario was not ready for that one. I'm telling you, if anything, if, if there's an MVP in this game, man, it's pressing Y twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Pressing Y twice is a new role. Smash, <laughs> yeah, it is a new role, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Goes for the up B. AK9, a little bit shows signs of composure there. Doesn't want to give up the lead here. SMR looking for the tempo play, using that fireball, trying to make a lead in. Yeah, I like that. Uses that B reverse laser to try and get a little bit of extra damage. Got 10% off that. That's big for a lead like this. And he's going to get that down throw. No tech check, but the oh. directional air dodge. He's able to get the wall bounce. Oh off. no, oh, wall, wall bounce! Oh. No smash though! Clipping him right before he could make onto the stage. K9 is getting so good at catching that at the ledge. Despair, man. That is nothing but despair. Yeah, Jinko Inishima is about to <laughs> pop up for all you guys in the chat real soon. But right now, K9 still going in with the momentum. Master Mario loses his double jump and he gets a force smash, but he puts it on shield and getting him with the back throw again. K9 steamrolling him on this last game, potentially for Master Mario, if he can get anything out of it. Yo, man, I'm, I'm just gonna say, oh, that back hit of down smash, able to clip him and put both players off the stage. Okay, I like it. Can I running in with shield there? Sees those back guys, because at that point at the ledge, that's what Master Mario is gonna be going for. Can I about to close this out? He knows he just needs one good smash attack, and he can finish this game, move on to lose his finals, get him out oh, of the he, he, <laughs> he saw the jump option, and at that, that